usually on the first day of class, I go through the syllabus and I'll admit I'm never all that sure that any of my students are really paying much attention, but I feel like it's important to do. And I think it's really even more important to do in this class than with any other class because there are a lot of things that are a little bit different um, and things maybe aren't quite the way they've worked in previous classes. So this video is going to step through the syllabus and kind of give you an overview of what's going to happen in the class. So kind of how does this work? So normally when I teach this class, I teach it for three days a week. So Monday, Wednesday, Friday for 50 minutes and it lasts for 14 weeks, which is 2,100 minutes in a semester. We are then going to meet for only five weeks. We're going to meet five times per day for about 85 minutes per day. I'm going to keep working through this and I'm going to tell you a little bit more about what I mean by meet because it doesn't mean you're going to see me. Um, it doesn't mean we're going to be face to face in any sort of way. It means that there's going to be 85 minutes of Moodle based activities for you per day. So that's some lecture, some conceptual questions, some demonstrations all of that. Homework is on top of that, um, but I have counted some of the time you will spend on homework towards your 85 minutes per day, and that has to do with the type of homework system we're using. But what you see with this is this is a lot of time per day. Just on the lecture, you're probably going to spend something close to two hours per day on the class. So be prepared for this to be really intensive. So the textbook, we do not have a required textbook for this class. I'm going to post a lot of stuff on Moodle that are links to great resources for physics that I encourage you to use. You're not required to use them. If you get enough understanding from just what I do in lecture, fantastic. Just do that. But we're going to have those available as helpful links. If you want Halliday and Resnick Fundamentals of Physics, which is what we use during the school year for both Physics 105, 106 and Physics 115, 116, is available as an optional textbook. You can get used copies of it on Amazon really inexpensively if you want, um, likely on eBay as well. I decided not to require a textbook because I found a lot of times my students honestly just don't use it very much. So I thought I would save you the money this time but I will provide resources so you can look and get additional information beyond what I tell you in class. So I said that we were going to meet for about 85 minutes per day. And so the question is kind of how are we going to meet? We're going to meet via Moodle. I'm going to post content for the lecture class. Um, the lab class is separate and you'll need to hear from the lab instructor about that. And I'm going to post it by Friday for the following week. So everything that we do in week two will be posted by Friday at the end of week one. It's going to be identified by day. So there will be things for you to do Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. That will include some lecture, maybe a couple bits of lecture because I'm going to try to break it up into small enough pieces because I personally cannot imagine listening to 85 minutes of video lecture. That sounds horrible. So the lectures are going to be as interactive as I can make them. So that means you may have five, 10 minutes of lecture and then some questions to answer and then five, 10 minutes more of lecture and then some questions to answer. That won't total to 85 minutes of lecture. It will meant, it's meant to be 85 minutes of lecture and answering those questions and working through activities that I give you. We're also going to have some demonstrations in there, videotape demonstrations and demonstrations that you'll watch um, videos by others, some simulations, and we're going to have some sample problems so that you're prepared to do the problems in your homework. I am going to count your homework time as a little bit of your time that would be lecture time because the homework system we're using gives you feedback to help guide you through those problems. You are always welcome to work ahead. In fact, you're kind of encouraged to work ahead, um, but you can't get behind. I have built in a little bit of flexibility because I know sometimes some of you guys are working or something like that and you may have a really miserable Monday, but Tuesday you have off. So everything that is due Monday, Tuesday, or Wednesday has to be submitted by Monday, or sorry, by Wednesday at midnight. It's actually set to 11.59 p.m. in the homework system. And Thursday and Friday work must be submitted by 11.59 p.m. on 
Friday. So you get a little bit of flexibility. I will accept late work, but you will lose 10% for every day that it is late. I strongly encourage you to keep up. Even though I will accept late work, it will really hurt you to get behind in this class. It is absolutely crucial that we keep up with your work in this class. We are going to move fast. We're going to do two chapters per week. We're in this together. We will get you through it. I think you will learn a lot and hopefully it will be a bit of fun, but you're going to have to keep up um, and you're going to have to let me know if you're getting behind. I am happy to help you. I would love to help you if you're getting behind, but it's much better if I can intervene and work with you early before you get too far behind. We are moving fast enough that it's going to be pretty hard to catch up if you get behind. So we really want to try to keep you on pace with the class. If you get sick or injured or something like that, we will work with it. But please do everything you can to keep up with your work in this class. I know that's true for every single class in the world. I think it is more true in this class simply because of the pace at which we'll be moving. So how do you get graded? This is probably the one part that my students always pay attention to when I go through the syllabus. So your grading, there are three sort of graded parts. There's 20% for participation. Participation seems a little funny in an online class, but I made it big because I want to be sure you're watching the lectures and answering the conceptual questions and working through the simulations. That's a part of how you really learn in this class, and that's going to be 20% of your grade. That's 20% that you should absolutely earn. The next 20% is homework. Homework's going to be done through an online system called Expert TA. I'm going to talk a little bit more about that in just a second. And then 60% is going to be exams. There will be three exams, each worth 20% of your grade. The exams are also going to be done in Expert TA. And I'll talk a little bit about what that means in a second. So that participation grade. A lot of your lectures are going to be videos, as will be the demonstrations um, and potentially some of the simulations. And they're going to be set up as quizzes in Moodle. I put quizzes in big air quotes because it's not a graded quiz in the sense that you normally think of. If you get it wrong, you get a chance to answer it again. You will be graded by getting the answers right, but you just need to get them all right by the end. So basically your participation grade, I'm going to take all of the things that have been assigned to you to do, the videos to watch, the questions to answer, and I'm going to look at what percentage of those you do, and that's going to make your participation grade. Again, for those quizzes to get credit for completing the quiz, you need to get it right, but you get unlimited chances to get it right, and you will get feedback to help guide you to the right answer. So that shouldn't be a problem, it just may take a little bit of time. One of the challenges with physics sometimes is the longer it takes you to do the problems, probably the more time you need to spend working on it. So this may take some of you longer than it takes others. The homework, again, it's going to be done through Expert TA. You can see the address here for signing up. That address is also provided as a link on Moodle, so you're not trying to get it out of this video. There's a student class code as well that will be emailed to you or should have been emailed to you by now. So check your email if you haven't seen it and you will need to enter that to sign up for my class. There is a registration fee for Expert TA. Um, it is actually less than what we originally told you when we gave you the information about the class. It is $13.75 for Physics 105. It will be $13.75 for Physics 106. I'm really excited about this homework system. It gives you multiple chances to answer the questions and it gives you feedback based on your answer and can give you hints for solving the problem. Now there is a penalty for putting in wrong answers because I don't want people just to enter answers and get hints and not really think about it, but the penalty is small. You lose 1% of the grade for that individual problem for each incorrect answer and for each hint you get. So there is a small penalty, but it should not be enough to discourage you from trying and getting hints. You all are welcome to collaborate on homework. I encourage you to use the news form in Moodle. If you're stuck on a problem, you're always, always, always welcome to ask me. You are also always welcome to ask your peers. 
you can post to the news form and say, I am so stuck on number two. I have no idea what it means. Why is this woman trying to make me do this horrible problem? I would leave that part out, but it can be in the subtext. Your peers will see that and I will see that and we will be able to help you out, hopefully. Um, I know I can help you out. Hopefully your peers can help you out as well. For those of you who are in the class, helping your peers out is a great way to show that you're learning and to further your own learning. Explaining something requires really understanding it. So the homework is fine to be collaborative. You can use any resources you want. You can use each other. You can ask your friend who's really good at physics, your parents, anything like that. All of those are appropriate resources as you work through this homework. Tests are also going to be taken in Expert TA. The grading strategy will be different than it is for homework assignments, and I will explain that a bit more before our first test. They will also be timed. The homework is not timed. You can take as long as you want to do your homework, but the tests will be timed. They will also be open book and open notes. I know you don't really have a book, but you're welcome to use any of the links I've given you on Moodle as the book to find out additional information. I strongly encourage that you make an equation sheet and maybe some key notes for yourself for every test. You can use any notes you have from the class, but a lot of times that takes far too long if you have to flip through everything. If you keep a set of key notes, that's going to help you really work through the test. You can use all of those resources I've put on Moodle and your notes, and you can go back and look at the videos while you take your test. You cannot collaborate, and you cannot ask your friend, you cannot ask your parents. It needs to be independent. You are the only one who is allowed to do work on your test. You cannot ask anyone any questions about your test, and you cannot Google the question. You cannot try to look up an answer to that question. You can use the links I've provided and your notes and the videos I've provided, but no other resources. So all of this is covered by the honor code. It is on your honor to do that work independently. I won't be able to see whether or not you did. Um, and it is up to you. And it is a key part of our sort of life here at Randolph that I can trust you to do this in an appropriate way without using inappropriate resources. This is something that's really important to me and I think is really important to all of us at the college. It gives us the freedom to do this with you and let you have these tests without any type of proctoring. And again, I ask that you all uphold the honor code, both in your own behavior and in letting us know if any other student contacts you with questions about the test. We will have office hours for this class, but they're gonna be a little bit different than regular office hours because obviously virtually none of you can come visit me in my office. So instead you will visit me online through GoToMeeting. The link is shown here, but is also available on Moodle. You're gonna click through that link to join the meeting. Um, it's called the Soika session. You'll be able to join as soon as I have opened it. I will open it every time we have office hours. I'm going to share my webcam so you can see me. I'm sure that's going to be the highlight of your day to get to see me. Um, and you can share your webcam to see me and that way we can talk a little bit like Skype. We can have up to 25 participants at a time so everyone can join in if need be. And um, you'll be able to show me what you're working on. And this is how we'll work office hours. You are always welcome to send me an email, call me or text me outside of office hours. And you are again always welcome to seek help from each other on homework. I will say if you're going to call me, please do not call me in the middle of the night. But middle of the day, you're always welcome to call me. Our office hours will be as follows. Monday, 10 a.m. to 11 a.m. Tuesday, 2 p.m. to 3 p.m. Wednesday, 5 p.m. to 6 p.m. Thursday, 10 to 11 a.m. And Friday, 2 p.m. to 3 p.m. You will also see lab times and lab office hours posted here. Those are things to talk about with your lab instructor. But because we had put them on the course website, I wanted to include them here. Accommodations is our last little bit to talk about, and this does have to do with the tests. If you normally have extended time on tests or other accommodations, we will honor those within this class, but I need to get a letter from you. I know that may be a little bit more challenging here during the summer, but you should try to contact Tina Barnes and see if she can give you a letter. Um, 
If that's not possible, please let me know and we will work something out. I think the accommodations will only really apply during tests because that's the only time where your assignment is timed. But if we need to do that, we will absolutely do that. Please let me know if you have any questions about this syllabus. Again, this is something new to me, much as I think it's likely something new to you as well. And so there may be something I missed. Please let me know if you have any questions and I will help you out. And I am really looking forward to this. Thanks.